Good morning, everybody, and thanks for joining us on the news at daybreak. Kyle Jordan alongside First Alert meteorologist Andrew Gordon. As you wake up this morning, we can tell you there is a category five hurricane historical in nature that is heading out there into the Caribbean. If you've got plans on trips to Puerto Rico or Jamaica, you may want to rethink those because there could be some uh, devastation in parts of the Caribbean there this morning. Good news is for us, this is not something that's going to impact us, right? There's no local impact still worth talking about because it's almost been 20 years since we've had a cat five in July, and this is now the earliest occurring one beating out Emily, which was in 2005, July 17th. So take a look at that massive storm. It's likely going to remain a major hurricane through the next couple of days. Next in line for a direct impact from the eye would potentially be Jamaica tomorrow. Of course, a hurricane warning in effect for that area. Beyond that, wind shear kind of uh, fizzles it out, but let's talk about locally as well. I've been tracking a boundary this morning near I-16 and 280 where a lot of this rain is forming along. So that's where the dampest morning commute is as well as our coastal areas of Beaufort County. If you're traveling to or from Tybee, got some showers out there in Chatham County. But look at this heavy rain, even some lightning just off to the coastal areas of Bryan County. That's where the heaviest rain has just been sitting all morning long. Hinesville, you've had some rain all morning as well. Going back north here toward Claxton, been a damp one into Cobbtown. So we're going to see the rain showers stick around through the morning into the afternoon, but it's all going to be kind of dependent on where that boundary is. More on that coming up. Let's take a look at what